I just purchased this Citizen Godzilla watch. Will this be my best impulse buy yet? Or a kaiju-sized disaster? Let's find out. Welcome to the Watch Closet. I'm COE33, CO for short, and guys, I think it's safe to say that I'm cuckoo for watches. If you enjoy watch collecting content as much as I do, help me grow this channel and appease those algorithm overlords by subscribing and ever so gently polishing that like button. Before we get into the unboxing, let's do a wristwatch check. I'm keeping with the Citizen theme and wearing my EcoDrive Nighthawk. I've had this watch for over 10 years now, and it's still going strong. Godzilla. The King of the Monsters, Doom Inevitable, Monster Zero One, and the God of Destruction. He's kind of a badass. Although, if I'm being honest, I've always been more of a King Kong guy myself. I mean, Godzilla's cool and all, but he's kind of dumb compared to the mighty Kong. And, and Kong, you know, he's a real ladies' man, always sweeping Anne off her feet and climbing mountains and skyscrapers. What does Godzilla do? Just kind of lumbers around, making a bunch of racket? and causing insurance premiums to skyrocket everywhere he travels. So destructive. And not the brightest gold, am I right? Son of a... Unboxing time. Alright, I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. So this was an impulse buy, guys. I saw this on eBay. You know, I was looking at watches, of course, as you do. And I was scrolling through, and I saw this watch. I hadn't seen it before. The Citizen Godzilla collaboration watch. It's based on an anime, a singular point anime that you can watch on Netflix. And I have not seen it, but I'm going to have to watch it now that I have this watch. And it comes with two boxes, limited edition. There's, um, I believe, 500 pieces. So there's a gray variant, and then there's this variant, which I'll show you in a second. And it comes with these little extra goodies, too. And this is um, brand new. So this is unworn. And guys, I can't wait. I've been looking forward to doing this unboxing for a while. So why don't we get right into it? Let's start with the goodies, shall we? Now these watches are only available in Japan, but there's some sellers that have these in US in stock. I actually bought this from a seller that had it in stock in USA, so I didn't have to wait a long time for shipping, so that's kind of nice. But initially these were released in Japan only. As I said, it's a collaboration between Citizen and Godzilla. And one of the nice things about this is it's an automatic watch. And it comes with all these awesome little extras. Now, I love Godzilla. I love Kaiju, King Kong, all that good stuff. So when I saw this, I kind of just insta buy it, you know, bought it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I want that watch. That's coming home into the watch closet. That's getting added to the collection. And the fact that it has these little extras. Wow, that's heavy duty. Okay, this is like a display stand for the watch. And this is like solid glass here, so that's super nice. Let's put this over here, and we don't need that. And then, let's see, let's pop this bad boy open and see what we're working with here. All right, got that. And then we're gonna unwrap this guy. Get a little ASMR for you guys. yeah okay look at this wow nice this is sweet godzilla singular point citizen hell yeah okay put that in there Ooh. hmm this might have to live right there possibly huh yeah cool okay i like it we're off to a good start but now let's get to the main show, guys. This is what we're here for. Unboxing of the watch. Okay, what do we got? We got an outer sleeve here, red text, Japanese writing, Godzilla, singular point. On the back, we have some gold text. Toho Company, they have the rights to Godzilla. They have for a long time. For sale only in Japan. As I said, this is a Japan exclusive. And we got some kanji there as well. 2021 this came out so it hasn't been on the market that long and i believe these retail for like 300 bucks but now they've gone up 
quite a bit in price. So expect to pay above retail if you want to pick one of these up on eBay. And we got a nice inner box here. It's kind of a, oh, almost like Godzilla skin, huh? Yeah, I think that's what they're going for here. It's like green textured. It's like the, yeah, it's totally Godzilla skin. That's awesome. Gold text, citizen, Godzilla, singular point. Some more Japanese writing. And then we have Toho on the bottom here in gold as well. Very nice box. I love it. Um, this is my second citizen. I have an eco drive, which you guys saw earlier. I'm actually wearing it right now. And I love it. So I'm glad to finally have another citizen. Ooh, guys. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. So guys, my favorite color is red. So when I saw this, I kind of fell in love right off the bat. Look at that. Citizen automatic pro master diver. It's got the Godzilla, kind of the spikes on Godzilla's back on the dial there. It's subtle. It's not too in your face. Like this is a Godzilla watch, you know, but just enough to give you that little flare. And oh boy, I love it. Kind of um, Seiko vibes from this ProMaster, huh? Which uh, you won't hear any complaints from me. Day date window and some really cool indices. And I like the handset there. That almost looks like a, um, a skyscraper, a building, huh? A handset. Cool. Okay, so what do we got here? We got inside the box, some bubble wrap, and then we have, it looks like a little registration card or something. Um, yeah, a little warranty information. So we don't need that, and we don't need this. Put that over there. Okay, but let's get to the main show, guys. So we got the watch on a black velvet pillow. And let's see, we got Citizen. And this is the NY0080 Model 21Z, 38,500 yen retail. That's what, roughly $300 or so, I believe. And there's the hang tag there. And what else do we got? We got this little automatic ISO 200 meters water resistance. Cool. Okay, let's get it off this pillow. We don't need that. And why don't we go ahead and take this bracelet apart and take off all this paperwork. Don't need that. And then let's get this hang tag off of here, shall we? There we go. Get that off of there. And we're left with just the watch. Okay, very nice. Let's see, now this is not the full review, guys. I will do a full review at a later date. This is just the unboxing and the first impressions here. And first impressions are great. Love that dial. Let's see, how's this bezel feel? Oh yeah, that's nice. Well, it's not the most satisfying bezel I've ever felt or anything. But uh, is there any back play? No, no back play. Does it line up? Let's see. Oh yeah, that lines up. Cool, and what are we working with on the back here? Um, oh, look at that, we got an engraving of Godzilla, Citizen, the model number there, stainless steel, water resistance, Japan movement, it's got a Miyota automatic movement, and I like that, I like having a little Godzilla on the back, and kind of a resin strap here, kind of reminds me of the Seiko Arnie, that I have with this kind of bolstering here on the top of the strap. So nice to have another Citizen in the collection that's an automatic. And I'm looking forward to giving this some good wrist time, wearing this for the next oh, couple weeks or so, and formulating all my thoughts so that I can do the full review coming to the channel soon. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Citizen X Godzilla Limited Edition Pro Master. Stay tuned for the full review coming to the channel soon. I'm posting new videos every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can count on that. It's like clockwork. Follow me with my watch collecting adventures over on Instagram at Cuckoo for Watches. I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow me over there for wrist checks and retro gaming at COE33. And if you're enjoying the content, be sure to watch this video of me reviewing the Invicta 1953 with the Batman bezel and NH35A movement. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep your watches wound and your sapphires polished.